gentlemen welcome back we once were the world renowned paraskeptics and now we're the legendary paraskeptics that's right we <laughs> we have passed from world renown into the annals of time as uh, lore annals. as lore we are now yeah. lore yeah, that works that works so, that is my good buddy and partner in crime, Wade. That over there on that side of the speaker, you are hearing darkness itself. That's right. <laughs> the, the dark one. Who are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, you may remember us. We are the Pure Skeptics. Uh, Formerly accused of anti-Semitism, anti-LGBTQ. We killed the whales. I'm convinced that was portrayed and instituted by the uh, the Travel Channel paranormal folks. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't. Da- I, I, yeah, I can well, we that. know for a fact it was uh, Chad Lindbergh. Chad Lindbergh. Lindbergh. Know for a fact that he started that shit. <laughs> Lindbergh. He's like the Newman of the paranormal. Newman. Lindbergh. <laughs> Lindbergh. <laughs> yeah, but we know for a fact that he started that shit. Oh, uh, but anyways, we've been kind of laying back in the shadows. Uh, you know, we had talked about doing how we had talked about doing this win. A week ago, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, yep. and, and you know, <laughs> well, you know, uh, some shit happened, then we forgot. <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not like we're getting paid, so you know, fuck. <laughs> but uh, we're back, and uh, we are getting back into the uh. The paranormal swing of things, I guess you could say, folks. We are making some plans to infiltrate some uh, some paranormal stuff. We're gonna go to Scarefest. Yeah, I'm gonna pop up and see what's going on in there. And maybe some real guerrilla tactics, man. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should show up outside with a bullhorn. <laughs> the. F- you know, they just really blast them, man. Just really bust in there. Nick Groff's going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if we're lucky, he'll do some uh, performance. Well, you know, last time I was there and he was there, uh, he was rapping. See, uh, that's what I'm hoping that he's so, – I hope the crowd is like, please do a song. He was, man. He went, he went full Slim Gady. <laughs> Shit. Uh yeah, he did, man. He he was out there. He was just ripping it up, man. I think he, had, from what I remember, he had a wife beater on. It was just, <laughs> it was just, it was, you know, it was awful. Maybe he'll get mascara man up there to do. Uh, you oh, know, Chad! Do, oh, Chad Fleming or Chris guy. Fleming? Chris that Fleming? One, yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, last time I was there, uh, it was my first time there. And he came walking in. Uh, well, I went in the bathroom. And I was in there taking a leak, and then I happened to look over, and there's Chris Fleming right beside me. Uh, uh, I just backed away. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even done pissing. I, I, yeah, I turned and pissed all over the wall. <laughs> Whatever. It was like Dick Jones when he came in the bathroom <laughs> in Robocop. <laughs> Well, nice talking to you. I was like, oh, God, I got to go. You can tell me you just had to follow the piss stream right on out of the bathroom. And there I was. 
zipped up my pants in mid piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was that was terrible. <laughs> I'm out sure, it sure did though. I can always look back and say hey, I pissed right next to Chris Fleming. Yeah, I, I remember the last time I went with you and we no actually yeah was it the last time yeah it was with uh when we saw amy farmers yeah yeah amy and, allen yeah, and amy allen. yeah amy allen had that wicked setup with all of her psychic <laughs> friends and then like eight booths down at the very end is like lonely dashavi with a little cardboard cut out with his name markered on it it's dashavi and yeah, I'm like I'm like, what the fuck it. is wrong with this? What is he wrong sharpied with this picture? It. They forgot he was coming. Yeah, I mean, what the hell? Because like, like if you want, like, in all honesty, people, I can, I can, I'm getting into dead files more so than I ever did because of Deshavi, and I'll tell you why. It's because if you watch like the new season, the dude is. uh at the very end when they get together, you know, Amy Allen does her thing where she goes through the house at night and Deshavi's doing his thing at day, talking to the, uh, you know, the, the, the client and then going and talking to investigators and poli the police and anybody that might have history. And then they get together at the end, they're going over their findings and the last couple of episodes, Amy Allen is like, I, I got, a sense that there was a child killed in this house and and Deshavi's like yeah I don't have anything on that but here's what I did find <laughs> and I'm like wow yeah this is great and he did that on another episode he's like I don't know about that one but I did find <laughs> I'm like wow yeah, getting yeah see cool. that's, a, that's a departure from the first couple of seasons yeah, it is. I think they I think they are getting the idea that some people are like, Yeah, you gotta you're gonna have to dice things up a little bit. See, I didn't even know there was a new season of that. Yeah. You could tell by the darker baggy eyes that Deshavi's sporting now. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Has he gone full goth yet? Not yet. No, no. No, okay. Not, yeah, he hasn't gone that far yet. He you keep been... fighting that good fight, the shabby. Mm -hmm. You keep it up, man. You're doing you're doing the, the world good. That's how you know it's that's how you know it's over for you, man. That's how you know <laughs> that's how you know you join the paranormal zeitgeist. You've gone full goth. If I see one black fingernail on you, you fucking mother. <laughs> Nobody's gonna buy it, the shabby. <laughs> It's faker than an it's faker than an Elliot Page dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. Holy fuck. Isn't that her name now? Uh, who would what who what's yeah, Elliot Elliot Page? Or, she used to be Ellen Page. Oh fuck, you're right. Yes. Yeah, uh, see? See that one liner hits now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see there you're welcome folks go back think about it that's, take a bow <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck yeah that one hit me right in the fucking head there uh, you go <laughs> <laughs> uh, man so anyways folks yeah just so just getting warmed up we are not quite back in full stride yet but we'll get there. Maybe the, maybe this is the time we finally get back on a regular routine, a regular schedule. We start recording, and you know we're back out there and we 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 rebuild what we had. We we get we re, re, uh, rekindle that that warm cuddly fire we had with everybody. That's right, in your loins. <laughs> it's like, I mean, there's there's been so much since we actually did a regular scheduled program there's been so much shit going on and uh and but you know that, what but you know what speaking of that yeah i feel like the paranormal has gone out of vogue man it's starting to like flare out you think yeah i think i think it's i think it's uh because if you think about it man it's it's kind of it's kind of fallen to the wayside now 
and I yeah, think, well, and I think it's because Travel Channel went pay per view. Yep. So now your average Joes don't have access to the paranormal shows anymore, man, because they've all yeah. gone to Discovery Plus. Yeah, thank God for that. I mean, yeah, it's it's been, and that's that's one of the new things. It's like ghost adventures thank god they moved that shit off so i don't have to see it all i mean there's reruns and shit but you know i don't have to see that stuff when i'm surfing around and uh land on it accidentally uh, because it's like a a bad you know a, a, you know wicked uh, car crash where i'm just like Ooh. and um but yeah all this stuff discovery is just hoarding the the paranormal Everybody that wants another uh, streaming service that you want to pay for, there you go. Have at it. Yeah. See, I think I think that I think that's put a damper on it. And I'll tell you what else has put a damper on it, man. Aliens. UFO. Oh, I'm sorry. UAPs. UAPs. Now. I'm still calling it UFOs. Fuck that UAP shit. I don't get yeah, it. I don't know where the fuck that came from. I don't know where we lost it. <laughs> it, it it sounds it sounds more uh, it, it sounds technical and professional so people like yeah if you say i i study ufos are like you fucking weirdo oh i'm sorry unidentified aerial phenomena really oh well, that's a different oh, story. so before you were a weirdo but now you're a pretentious cocksucker yeah, oh, right. that's what it was the ufos have gone politically correct now well they, they've gone well they, they went to a um it, it that really in all honesty has taken the the uh excitement out of like ghosts and uh witches and you know and then you know the supernatural more or less because everybody was super focused on you know in april this big report's going to be released by the government and um and it was like a you know a little fizzle which you know it was it was something but it was in a way not much of anything it's not it's not like it hadn't been done before people were saying this is the first time ufos has gotten national attention well in 1967 or 68 uh walter cronkite did a full hour special on it so yeah it was it's it's been done and uh uh so i it, and I, for one, got sucked into it big time. I was like looking at, I got so sucked into these forums and into Reddit. And man, you talk about, I mean, there's some kooks in the, um, in the ghost world, but Jesus Christ, I forgot how much wacky it is in the UFO community. It is nuts. It is nuts. <laughs> See, I think I think that's what's happened to the paranormal, man. I think I think it has. Uh, I think it's 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 heyday has passed. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I say that because you know it's kind of cyclical. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it'll be big for a while, then it'll die down, and nobody gives a shit, and then it'll come back in vogue, and then everybody loves it again, and then it'll die back down, and nobody gives a shit. I think we're entering the nobody gives a shit phase. <laughs> Yeah, and, I, and the reason is all the sh well, except for the dead files. The dead files have a different formula, and I think that's what keeps them apart. But all the other team-based shows have the exact same fucking formula, and they're doing it. The, it's like they all went to the same uh, school for, uh, or it's being produced by the same, you know folks that might be doing like ghost adventures because it's the same fucking gimmicky you know edit styles and uh sound effects music atmospheric effects and you know just bullshit like that and it's like okay and i think that over the last like eight years or however 10 years 12 years they really have been hot and heavy with that bullshit i think maybe by then people would be like all right enough of this shit but you know I mean, there's always the fan people, the fannies, the fangirls. Yeah, see, I don't know, man. I think, uh, I think we're we're entering that phase where it's gonna go away for a while, and uh, you know, that's that's where you're gonna really see, 
you're you're really gonna find out who's really interested in it and who who's on the bandwagon. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Those of us that are really into it have been into it forever. We're going to continue to be into it. We're going to continue to talk about it. We're still going to be out there looking for ghosts and shit. And then I think the, the mainstream, the mainstreamers are going to go away, man. Yeah. I think they're going to go away because like I, said, I hadn't been watching a lot of the shows, man, you know, but from what I've seen, you know, even, even Bagans, man, he's starting to seem like he doesn't give two shits. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like the, it, it, I think he's got the, the, the Beatles effect happening where he's like, people are just watching the show. They don't, it doesn't matter what, what we do. We could just make up the dumbest bullshit and get away with it. And they're doing it and people are still watching it. I could get up here and run backwards and shove a fence post up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, uh, I mean, what the hell? Yeah, that's what that's what's going on. And uh, and you got like you got new people, uh, a new horde of people, limelighters, showboaters, if you will, uh, on the alien side because like. You know, thank God for this, you know, the 2017 uh, New York Times report, because then, you know, first it was Tom DeLong was the hot shit. And I think they were like, all right, put this guy aside. He's making this a joke. Who do we get? Lou Elizondo. We'll keep this guy in the forefront. This is the guy that we're, is going to be our poster boy. And then uh, somehow Jeremy Corbell gets gets in yeah he gets his fucking face you know through the crack of the door and and then his tag team partner George Knapp is in there and it's like oh here we go <laughs> yeah but see here's the thing anybody that knows anything knows Knapp's been around forever yeah so George Knapp is not new no he's he's uh he's an old timer but Corbell that fucking guy. Corbell only knows what Nap tells him. And Nap's feeding him shit and Corbell's going out and yabbering and um, That's why you always see those that's why you always see those two partnered, man. Yeah. Cuz he's like I need more info, man. I've got I've got the image is working, man. Come on, man. He's I'm gonna like, I'm gonna whip you up a wicked cup of java, man. <laughs> get this. Do you want y'all write your name on the cup? Hold on. I talked to George and George really recognized my curiosity. <laughs> I forgot all that shit. <laughs> Fucking he, he, he really helped me come up with my yoga warrior stuff. <laughs> Fucking quantum jujitsu. Yeah, quantum quantum jujitsu. Ju- yeah, yeah, folks, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with it, look up uh, Jeremy. That's the same Jeremy Corbell. He, uh, years ago, he did a shit called quantum jujitsu and quantum or, and warrior yoga. And, um, and his jujitsu, you'll, you'll watch it and you're like, shit, the dude, no, I mean, he's a, he is a jujitsu student. Go fuck everybody who isn't. And, uh, but you look at his, uh, demonstrations and it's like, wow, that's wicked. If your opponent just stands there and lets you do everything that you want. But I mean, like, what the fuck? That's like some shit there, man. Yeah, so you, you know, you kind of get the impression that he's a uh, a failed uh, yogi. <laughs> yogi. <laughs> yogi he's master. A, he's a failed yogi slash uh, American Gracie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he's like, hey, what am I going to fall back on? Oh, yeah. I'm going to hang out with the napper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I just ran into George Knapp, and I'm going to use him for everything he's worth. Yeah, man, that guy, and, and like I said, he, he he steadily drops shit. Yeah. That he obviously thinks is groundbreaking <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you see, this guy just posts shit like it is the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> He's like, just wait, it's coming. It's all, oh, oh, you're not gonna believe what you see. Oh, oh, and it's like, 
the worst piece of it's shit fucking, video ever. It's a, a pinpoint of light, like miles away <laughs> at, at night. You're like, yep, that works, brother. He's <laughs> like, this is taking off the deck of the Titanic. <laughs> Here's here's video of an air uh, unidentified aircraft with anti-collision lights that's out of focus. It's obviously alien. By SEAL Team Twenty Seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's so classified. It's classified. <laughs> it's like, like, what the fuck, man? How did this, this and this and this is the fl- he's the flavor of the month, man. Oh, and what this? Speaking of the the you know the, the a lot of outlets were using this schmuck, and it's like oh god, there's Jeremy Corbell again. Oh god, it's Corbell and Nap again. It's Corbell and Nap. It's so you got Corbell and Nap on one team, and then you, then you've got Elizondo and Mellon on the other team, and it's like who's gonna come in with the crut the you know the clutch shit? And uh, Travel Channel did like a two or three hour. Um, uh, special about the UAPs, and it was hosted by your Mellon. favorite. Wasn't Mellon on that? Uh, I think he was interviewed on it. Yeah. And uh, but it was hosted by your uh, your Josh favorite Gates. show killer. Yeah, Josh Gates. And uh, <laughs> like they're still killing shows, man. And it's, and it's like you know, did they did the Travel Channel like look up the old? There was an old show that came out and like. I think it was like the early '90s, uh, but it was hosted by Mike Farrell, the, the dude that played Hawkeye and Mash, and it was like a two-hour show called like UFO Top Secret or something like that. But it was uh, he he talked to various people and military and you know other witnesses, and then they had like a, a some dude who claimed he was part of Majestic and he was shadowed out and his voice was altered and all that st- stuff. And it's like, eh, travel channel looked this up and they were like, Hey, we're going to recreate this and we're going to make it our own <laughs> because that's our gimmick. That's the way we, that's, that's our stick for it. everything. <laughs> that's the and, way we do it. And see why, well, you know, while we're talking about melon, like they always talk about melon, like he comes from a prestigious family. Uh-huh. And you know they're they they're uh, you know great history and he doesn't he doesn't need the attention and and I'm like you know what if what if his his you know long history and his his family's fortune and shit allows him to be a fucking nut job <laughs> because yeah. he can get away with it because he is super rich yeah. Like those are the those are usually the most eccentric motherfuckers in the world. <laughs> you know the super crazy rich. Mm-hmm. And then, so, I mean, yeah, there was a I dude. Mean, there was a dude that was like, I made some comment on a post in this forum, and some dude jumps in on on my shit and is like, and the dude's being dead serious, saying aliens are hunting people. I know this. I've seen them. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Here we go. Where the hell was I? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yep. Well, you remember the dude that sent us that shit? Uh, fuck it. He emailed us a bunch of pictures saying that. Oh, this, yeah. That he uh, was seeing signs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on the moon yeah. and on the Mars. And, and, he wanted, and he, if we wanted to talk to him or, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And we were like, shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Look at the picture, man. Don't you, you see it? No. No. <laughs> I don't see anything. It's like Liz Taylor said. No. <laughs> We're too busy being anti-Semitic and homophobic and <laughs> and whale killers. And we, yeah, we're out there spearing whales, we're stomping baby seals. That's right. With the butt of my. My fully automatic AR-15. <laughs> like the, what the fuck, people? Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, and like I said, we're a paranormal podcast. Aliens are kind of paranormal. Yep. You know, but it, it, you, you, we talk about 
how crazy the paranormal community is, right? Yeah. It it pales in comparison to the to the UFO and alien community. Yeah. It's not even close. No. No, yeah, it, there's there's some definite kooks in the in the ghost world, but it is quadrupled in the UFO community. It's uh there's some serious shit out there. <laughs> it's some serious shit. It's, it's really amazing it just how fucking off the reservation some of these people are. Speaking of off the reservation, man. Mm-hmm. Not only do we have Skinwalker Ranch, a TV show now that has Travis, I'm out of my fucking mind, Alabama dude oh, guy. Bam, bam, man. <laughs> Travis Bama man. <laughs> How the fuck he ever became a scientist at NASA? I will never know. And if he's keeping a job, how is that fucking possible? Because if there was ever anybody <laughs> that made you question NASA, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's that guy. <laughs> Yeah, proving that credentials mean jack shit. <laughs> it's like, uh, because goddamn, just some of the shit that comes out of his mouth. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just uh, like holy shit. Brandon Fugel's just paying me good. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> well, you saw a goddamn bug fly across the camera. <laughs> Look up there. Look, 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 look. I'm just going to keep pointing. Shoot the camera up there, damn it. Yeah, shoot. Look, look, look. Y'all see that goddamn bug up there? Goddamn bug. Well, hellfire. It was there. It was there. And then it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> hellfire. Well, I swung it. I swung it. <laughs> and, then I, <laughs> and then I was watching one of the episodes. I'll get back to my point in a minute. But I was watching one of the episodes, and they're filming. They have a static camera set up in the woods, in the middle of a cow pasture. And there's a black dot on the screen. And they're like, I don't know what that could be. It looked like a fucking fly. (laughs) It's like you're in a cow pasture in the woods. That's awesome. There, there's got to be a ton of fucking bugs out there, and it looks like a bug in the middle of the camera, uh, flying past, and then like it's in this shot, but then it's not in this one. <laughs> unbelievable. And, and Travis Bama man is just like, well, I don't know what that could be. <laughs> in all my years of scientific study and research, I just don't know that can that justifies everything I ever get down, ding, 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 ding. ding. <laughs> Well, where I come from down there, we don't have no fly bugs. <laughs> and a banjo on my knee. If you're going to sit there and tell me bugs can fly, uh, piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> it's like, goddamn. How did you... Goddamn, boy. <laughs> but yeah, so back to my point about the whole fucking thing. Talking about copycats and shit. So, Skinwalker wasn't good enough. Mm-hmm. Now, we also have the Blind Frog Ranch. <laughs> Is that actually on? Is that like airing? That's a real show. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw a write up about it, but I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> that's a real show, man. Yeah, that's. That's a stretch. Mm-mm. And I've been watching it. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So I've it been is watching on, it. Huh? Yeah, it's legit. It's in between seasons right now. Okay. Yeah, I think they're uh, they're off doing blow or something. I don't know. So but... <laughs> what's, what's their gimmick? What's the catch there? What are they trying well, to do? Well, here's the thing. They get all kind of... Now, wait a minute. Hold on to your britches. <laughs> Because y'all ain't going to believe this. Here's the gimmick. 
they're getting all kinds of magnetic anomalies coming from underground and you know cameras mess up and they're seeing you know ufos and and people appearing on the land and then they're gone and uh you know sounds very familiar you know i think george knapp was out there but no it's just it's the same fucking thing well where's this place located Right next to the fucking Skinwalker oh, Ranch. Jesus. Well, I, I told you there was like a, there was like, oh, gee, it was like a hundred, hundred acres or so of land right next to Skinwalker Ranch. Yes, so yeah, you said that to me. It's for sale. Two hundred thousand dollars, or four hundred thousand. Oh, yeah. It was four hundred k. Okay, yeah. And that's almost. That's that, that's almost worth buying right there. It is. For people that want you open it up and turn it into a almost like a theme park. People that want to experience Skinwalker Ranch, you can come spend the night here, spend the weekend here, spend a week. We don't care. You pay us, you'll get your experiences. I mean, I'd have a show called, uh, you know, Weasel Dick Ranch. (laughs) (laughs) Skin (laughs) Flute Park. Bring your kids and your wife down. She can play the skin flute here at the skin flute ranch. Where are these fuck? Where are these stupid I mean, these wigs and dress up like the like the wannabe crew from uh, Skinwalker Ranch? <laughs> like you're not yeah. dragon. Shut yeah, up, this, this, this is my head of security, Gecko. <laughs> <laughs> Like, who the hell told them it was a good idea to just call this dude Dragon? <laughs> he looks like a dragon. Uh, Bruce Lee would have a hard time with that guy. It's like they're not even gonna get, they're not even gonna use his real name. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like some fucking bad '80s, you know, espionage movie <laughs> code name. Dragon. <laughs> Project Dragon. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy looks like he'd work on your fucking car at yeah. some roadside <laughs> fucking gas station. Uh, Jesus. Jumping Christ. He works at the Academy's uh, gun uh, gun case there. Uh, yeah, but at least, at least they started using his name this season. Did they? Yeah, I think, I think they realized that Dragon was just too fucking stupid. <laughs> so- yeah. So now they use his name, and then in quotations, it's like dragon. Oh, that's funny. I didn't notice that. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, because I think they finally realized, hey, this is who the <laughs> You know, I think, I think the producer finally told me, who the fuck okayed this? Yeah, this is, <laughs> I mean, this is, I mean, the show's stupid, but we don't want to go that stupid. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's give it a, we're going to call him dragon. <laughs> Cause it's badass. We're, it we're really, gonna... it really adds on the edge. We've got to, we've really got to stay ahead of the blind frog ranch guys. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh. yeah. But uh, yeah. So uh, scarefest. <laughs> scarefest. Speaking of kooks, no. <laughs> and that's how we've become full circle. <laughs> See how it works. <laughs> works we out. always find our way back. But uh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh we got a couple of ideas in the works. A couple of ideas that we're gonna we've been mulling over and talking about. You know, we've been away for far too long. And we're thinking maybe it's time we got back in the game. At least stir stir some shit up here and there. Make it, keep people on their toes. Yeah, do. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gone soft. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, y'all gone soft. God damn, man. It feel, we always have a good fucking time when we get back on here. Never is. It's, it's always fucking. It's like we never left. No. 
no, people no, out no. there. Yeah, you people out there like, yeah, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> I never heard of you. Yeah, we're the, we're, like I said, we're the guys you wish you were. <laughs> That's who we are. The people, so, people that give you nightmares. That's right. We've come here to butt fuck your whole pussy generation. <laughs> So, but yeah, 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 but uh, so yeah, uh, uh, way they had a good idea, we're, we're gonna infiltrate, we're gonna infiltrate, and we're gonna try to hidden cam record that shit. You're never gonna know. You're not gonna know who. We See, are. that's that's what's so great about it. That's what's so great about it. Uh, Moran, what's his name? Mark Moran. Something. Yeah, uh, just by chance, if you hear this, we're coming to one of your goddamn events, <laughs> yeah. and you know what's great about it? You have no idea who we are. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, attend one of their little. I mean, what they call an overnight investigation, but it's really not. It's yeah, we were hours. looking. At, yeah, Wade was telling me the details of it, and uh, I'm calling shenanigans because <laughs> we've I've done one of these fucking things, uh, but we did it with a totally different group, and we did it at uh, the fuck is the name of that place? Rip of Villa. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we did the whole dinner and a show thing. <laughs> So I know I know what it's I know what it's about and I know what it's like, and it's bullshit. Yeah. So, but if we're we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna foot the bill. We're gonna we're gonna go to one of these goddamn things. We're gonna infiltrate it, and we're gonna try our damnedest to make it through without. <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's, the, that's gonna be the hard part. That's the challenge. I think that's more. I think that is the. That's the challenge of it. I think that's what the real part. The contest there is, which one of us will keep it together, and which one will break. Yeah, it, it's it's gonna be tough. You remember that scene from Ace Ventura where he's acting like his ass is talking, <laughs> <laughs> and he's holding on to the chair trying yeah, to keep it quiet. Like, it's, it's gonna be just like that. Oh man! I'm talking about as soon as it starts, it's gonna be just like that. But the beautiful thing of it is, we're sitting here telling you right now, we're gonna do this, and there ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it because you have no idea who we are. <laughs> and and even if we do it, and even if you do find out who we are. You still can't do a goddamn thing about it. <laughs> it's still gonna happen. Oh, it's still gonna happen. Well, it's it's brilliant. I mean, goddamn. I don't know why we didn't think about that before. I mean, goddamn. Goddamn boy. Gold star for you, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Graham. So so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna infiltrate. We're gonna we're gonna go to Scarefest this year. Might, might slap uh, some pair of skeptic stickers around. You might see them if you go to Scarefest. We did that last time. Yeah, I remember we did that at this the psychics booth, and we slapped the sticker on there. And I guess like one of our assistants peeled it off, and we slapped it on there again. <laughs> we we walked by and put another one on there. Yeah, like, uh, that's funny. Because we had the pair of skeptics approved stickers. That's right. And then we had the pair of skeptic disapproved. Yeah. Stickers. <laughs> And you can guess which one we ran out of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I printed that other one. Fuck. Isn't that the year I, I played the trick on the Jedi? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Get a picture. Get a picture. <laughs> I was like, hey, I got a great idea. Hey, you go stand over there. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to take your picture. <laughs> He's uh, like, okay, great. <laughs> I'm halfway there. I'm like, dude, run. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, this is like so goofball. Holy fuck. He turned around and looked and we're fucking gone. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, damn it. God damn it, they He's got a, me again. The eighth time has happened to me tonight. <laughs> You're not a loser, Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use the dark.
dark side. I will turn the dark side. Holy shit. Holy shit. We turned him into Kylo Ren. Yeah. <laughs> the, the emo Sith. Oh. oh, that's what did it. That's what turned him to the dark side. That's that's his that's his Sith origin story. <laughs> he was gonna the the the, the rogue squadron was gonna get their picture with him when he they were, when he was little. They ran him. Up. <laughs> they told him to go stand over by the wall and then jetted. <laughs> In the background, you hear the fucking uh, X Wing sound of a few. <laughs> He'll pay you, sons of bitches. Me or does does. Kylo, uh, son, oh, oh, fuck, what's his name again? <laughs> Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren sound like Janet Reno? What the fuck is up with that? Yeah, I don't know where the hell they got that guy. I don't know who the hell thought that was a good idea. J.J. Uh, Abrams, that schnook. <laughs> He's like, how can I further shit in your mouth? Oh, <laughs> uh, Jesus. Yeah, I know. Man. I know. I have lay a fly. <laughs> oh, fly. Uh, but anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, infiltrating. <laughs> infiltrating, violating. We're, we're gonna infiltrate. We're gonna violate. We're gonna annihilate. It's gonna. Hey, hey. You hey, see what I did there? Yeah. I got my rhyme book same place That's Nick Groff did. <laughs> Eat shit, Nick. <laughs> we're coming for you too. We're gonna, we're gonna have a mic off like Scarefest. Actually, I had a great idea. <laughs> what if we went <laughs> and then we had a big sign? Because you know you're not supposed to take pictures. Oh yeah. So what if we just go and then we stand in front of their table with the sign that says bullshit and then we <laughs> take the picture? <laughs> we take it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What you say? I, I had that thought today. I'm like, we should totally do that. Wait a minute. What is it? You can't take a picture of. Well, you know, you're supposed to pay them. Yeah, you're to get, supposed to pay okay, to get yeah, their, yeah. you know, their, 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 whatever the fuck. Their it is. likeness. <laughs> yeah, and you're not supposed to take pictures of them. Uh, you know, because you're supposed to pay for their eight by ten or whatever the five by eight. Uh huh. So what if we just go and stand with a sign that says bullshit in front of their table and take the goddamn picture anyway? You know what we could do? Yeah, if we do that and then put up a card table like somewhere in the road <laughs> and start printing out and get a portable printer, print out those pictures and start giving the pictures away. Here, people. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I got Nick Groff's photo here. Here you go. We should totally start sending those out and just fucking selling them like two bucks a pop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sell them really cheap. <laughs> a little something. We need gas money back. Gary. That's go. glorious. These masks don't pay for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. Oh, we, st- uh, we 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 gotta come up with some good shit to do. That's 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 genius. <laughs> We're gonna do that, oh, and we're and what we should do is we should live stream the entire fucking time. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> we should live stream the entire thing. We should just blow it out both drawer holes leading up to Scarefest. We should let everybody know that hey, we're gonna be going live from Scarefest, so we can have a bunch of people fucking watching, and then we just do that shit <laughs> until we get kicked out. <laughs> Heckle the uh, seminars if they have seminar or something. Like a, a speaker somewhere in their little speaker area. Exactly. <laughs> we have should have totally a clinic. Do it. They do their paranormal <sighs> clinic. That's exactly what we should do. Oh, God. There's so many options. I don't know what they're going to be doing. 
That's what we're doing, man. We're fucking. We're gonna fucking. We're gonna. We're yeah. <laughs> Just trust me. Trust me. Fuck. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on, hold the fuck you, on, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait a goddamn minute, wait, 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 <laughs> just watch the shit, just watch the shit, what? Uh, hold on folks, just hang on, hang in there, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> just, just fucking watch it, got it, <laughs> just fucking watch it, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. This has gone far enough. I will not laugh anymore. God damn. The goddamn music. Jesus. <laughs> How did this happen? What? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, I'm going to... Hey, Satan, how you doing? <laughs> He's going to look at me and be like, that shit was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I lost eight pounds. <laughs> oh, COVID. <laughs> Holy shit, balls. Woo. God damn. Okay. <sighs> Uh, I can't. I gotta, I gotta X that shit out, man. It's looping. That shit's looping. Oh, yes. uh, oh god. Uh, maybe, maybe should we post that? Should we post? <laughs> Talk about coming back with a bang. Oh, god. <laughs> oh fuck me, running. Damn. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Holy shit. Is, uh... I can't stop watching it. I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop watching it. <laughs> this is fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. The goddamn music. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't take no more. I can't. Oh, God. I don't even care. Oh, man. <coughs> uh, so, anyway, scare fish. Satan's like, Satan's like, that was fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, God's sitting there like, I did that. <laughs> he, he ain't got shit on me. <laughs> you think you're evil? <laughs> Holy fuck. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> my buddy of mine sent me that and I was like oh holy <laughs> fuck oh, that's perfect you might see it uh, oh, man, out there I, oh, we should around. totally fucking do this <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I don't even remember what we were talking about god the fucking dope <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can't even the thumbnail is killing me. Okay. Um, <laughs> fucking music. <laughs> oh, <wow. sighs> yeah. Sin. So <laughs> blind frog ranch, huh? <laughs> I got to do my ninja hand gestures to get my mind back in. Here we go. Rin. <laughs> Tetsu. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Oh, Jesus. Whew. All right, one more time. <laughs> one yeah, more time. Right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> A little more time, and that's it. <laughs> one more time. I promise. Just one more. Just one more. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking leg! Fucking leg! Fucking leg! This is. Uh, uh, it looks like one of the more bendy toys. We're <laughs> <laughs> running in fucking Converse. Oh my god! Oh god damn! Man. We should post that and call it your average ordinary can am driver. <laughs> <laughs> fucking can am. Oh god. Oh yeah. holy shit. Jeez. Uh, oh 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 speaking of speaking of why we're talking about it. Uh apparently Brandon Fugel Ugh. said that uh <laughs> never mind, you already replied. <laughs> oh that yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that the very first episode of the first season, they made this like grand entrance where he's in the in the helicopter and he's got the briefcase. He walks onto the ranch with the briefcase, opens it up, and it's just like a fucking Geiger meter or something in there. And it's like, what the fuck is this shit? What was it? <clears throat> Making him look like a fucking James Bond. His little. Euro sport car and helicopters and oh and he's got that strategically placed samurai sword up on the shelf. Hell yeah! I'm sure Hell you know yeah. how to use it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me just set this back here with my signed copy of Sun Tzu's Art of War. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of Five Rings you'll find right beside that one. The oh, fuck. Oh my god! So I told him I, I messaged him, told him to let us come out there. Awesome, awesome! Yeah, come on, come on! I man. did. I said, I said, let us come out there. I've been following it since the NIDS investigation. Let us come out there. Yeah, shit. And I said, what have you got to lose? Yeah. He seems to be replying to people. You know, there's activity there. So what's going on? There? No, it's too dangerous. No, it's too dangerous. You'll get radiation burns like I did. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get a big old pop dot on your forehead. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's serious shit because I got gout. Uh, next thing you know, you'll be catching goddamn flies on your camera and you don't even know what it is. Yeah, I swear, I smell, I smell, I, 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 I smell something fierce. I said, there's something fierce. Next thing you know, you got you're sitting out there with your thumb up your ass, singing Pac-Man Fever in the field. Fucking Pac-Man Fever. <laughs> you, do, you end up doing the Smurf. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? What the fucking Smurf? Smurf. You don't remember that shit? Shit, no. <laughs> yeah, look it up. Smurf. Look it up. Do the Smurf. <laughs> it's like oh the, fuck. <sighs> Oh, I was a bike video one more time. <laughs> Drop in, do the Smurf on top of that stuff. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Isn't he wearing yellow? There's some Pac-Man fever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pac-Man fever. <laughs> have, a, have a meeting edited the dots and the fucking ghost. Bop, 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 bop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the living embodiment of that shit off of Family Guy. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh damn. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. But anyways, so I think we'll wrap it. Yeah. It good... And I hope you guys enjoyed that last 20 minutes of us laughing hysterically. Because essentially <laughs> that's what we do anyway. <laughs> if you <laughs> sometimes it doesn't take an image to make us laugh. We just think of funny shit and we laugh our fucking asses off. For, but in this case, but this time, <laughs> in this case, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, buddy, whoa. and those of you out there that say you wouldn't laugh if you saw it, <laughs> you'd fucking laugh. <laughs> you fucking laugh. I that is preposterous. I would never. Holy shit! <laughs> no, I would not because that is not right. And I believe that. Blah, 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 fuck you. You if it's lying. funny, it's funny. You are lying. <laughs> if it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> and that shit is funny. I know funny. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Well. <clears throat> it's been yeah. fun. It was good. Good little romp for you, huh? I hope everybody yeah. is uh, and having a good time listening to it. And uh, we sincerely hope you uh, like us. If you like us, subscribe. And uh, I don't give a shit. It does, we don't even have subscribe buttons. So. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know how that works. Maybe uh, we should have checked into all that back when we were popular. <laughs> when we had shit going on. We could have made forty bucks. We could have, we could have had so much money. We could have bought a couple episodes, little fate magazines or something. That's what I'm talking about, man. We were in the UK. We were in Japan. We were in the yeah. South Pacific. We were everywhere. Yeah. Shit. I guess we still are, but who gives yeah, a fuck? We, yeah, I think we're still floating around out there. But uh, anyways. It's been fun. Look for us to be back because this shit is just too much fun. And when we're having fun, watch the fuck out, brother. <laughs> yeah. So and with we're... that, what were you going to say there, Wade? I was just going to remind everybody, remind the audience to have the human population uh, controlled. Have your child spayed or neutered. Spayed or neutered. And with that, I am done. I'm Wade. And we are back, motherfuckers. Hold on to your butts.